Welcome. Welcome. Today, with my helper Aurora, we are gonna cook zucchini carbonara. Hooray! Hooray! Simple pasta, we just need two zucchinis, 90 grams of parmesan, because we will make it very delicate. We will not use pecorino. It's true, Aurora? Yeah! And then we just need some bucatini. Very, very simple, yet tasty. For the vegetarians, excellent pasta. Otherwise, you complain that you will always eat meat every day. Not today. Today we eat zucchini carbonara. Couple of eggs for two people and two zucchini and some parmesan. Are we ready, Aurora? Yeah! Are we ready? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Cominciamo! Yes! We start with the two zucchinis and we are going to cut them in quarters. So. That's what we do first. We cut them on the long edge. And we make sure that we get rid of the seeds because this might be a bit bitter. So we get rid of this part. Now that we have our zucchini cut and without the seeds, we are going to chop them in um, cubes because this is uh, going to simulate our guanciale. One zucchini per person. Today we are uh, cooking for two people only. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't I fame? I did a question while I be eating. Perché ho fame? Ma perché I say I quit in the ma Don't I fame too? No, no. No I take you. I'm not hungry. No? Kini is your favorite. But they know my favorite I for Now that we have our nice zucchini chopped in the right uh, shape, we are gonna heat up a pan and then we are gonna pour some extra virgin olive oil where we are gonna fry our zucchini. When the oil is hot, we gently fry them. We add uh, bit by bit all the zucchini. We crack up some pepper on top no salt because otherwise the zucchini will release the liquid and we don't want that at this stage and uh, we let the zucchini fry for a few minutes after that we remove the zucchini from the oil and we just uh, let them rest uh, in a dish this is the trick to understand when the oil is hot when this zucchini will start to fry we will see the bubbles coming on the side. We let them fry with some pepper. A lot of pepper. Guys, remember that we don't have guanciale in this recipe. So we don't have the salt, we don't have the pepper naturally coming from the guanciale. So we need to add all of this today. If you want to know how to make a carbonara with guanciale, then please check my other recipe. You should see some card appearing on this uh, video. What are you cooking, Aurora? I'm cooking this. With Papa? No. The zucchini are crunchy. 
Now what we do, we take them from the oil and we set them aside. So now all this oil, we will save it because this will be our extra condiment in the cream. Of course, off the heat because otherwise uh, the oil will burn. And uh, we are now ready to do two things. Pasta in the boiling water. And in the meanwhile, we prepare the cream. Two hundred and fifty grams, five six minutes. We want it very al dente. Bucatini di Vella today. I love Bucatini. You love Bucatini? Yes, I love them. They're my favorite color. Now we are ready to prepare the cream. Cheese. Today we are using Parmesan because uh, we want to make it a bit delicate but if you want you can have also pecorino a whole egg mamma mia and then one egg yolk let's get rid of the egg white one yolk we also add now a scoop of boiling water. So we go here, we take the boiling water from the pasta. Not too much, but that's enough. And then Aurora will help us with the mix. Yes. Yeah. Will you? Yes. Yeah. Vediamo. Oh, wow. Let go, I need to, to mix it. She needs to mix it. This thing is so easy. A two and a half year old can do it. Look at that. I mean, she's got the right genes, that's for sure. Brava, brava. Now, this cream will, re will stay a bit liquid for now, but don't worry about it because in here, then we're gonna add the spaghetti or the bucatini actually. I forgot what we're cooking. Yeah. Yeah, we will give you. Then you mix it and then the bucatini will absorb the rest. When the pasta is very al dente, we take it and we do just a quick pass in the pan with the oil that we had from before. We do a fresh coating when the pasta is al dente. That's where everything comes together. We take our bowl, grazie Aurora, that you mixed, la mettiamo on top of the pan with the boiling water and we pour the pasta in there. And now this, we are going to create our cream. So we are gonna turn it and turn it. And this is where our cream comes together because now we are going to add also our zucchini. Not everything because we want to garnish the dish also. So we mix in this way. And now it's time to add also a bit of extra parmesan and pepper. I mean, of course, pepper you add as you like it. Also, I forgot to show you, but uh, you need to add also a bit of salt towards the end with the zucchini. Not at the beginning, but towards the end. Bit of cheese on top. Mm. And this is ready. We do the last uh, mix. And that is ready. Look at the cream. Look at the creaminess. Huh? Fantastic. <laughs> and let me try. Bucatini zucchini carbonara. Thanks to Aurora for the help. Mm. Mm. This is... Um, a spectacular vegetarian dish that's how it's done 
in Italia. Dead Parmesan. Do you wanna try allora? Yeah. Adesso ti faccio provare. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Instagram page. Follow me on Facebook. Look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. If you wanna know how I do the normal carbonara with guanciale, even browse through my other videos. Enjoy. Buon appetito. Thank you.